practice exercise 4 of time speed distance funda book let's go through the questions question 7 nupal goes to kashipur from bareilly at 6 km per hour and returns from bareilly to kashipur at x km per hour what is the value of x if average speed of nupal going and coming back is 12 km per hour okay so as per the question nupal goes from Kashipur to Bareilly. She goes at the speed of 6 km per hour. And she on the return journey, she has a certain average speed which we are not aware of. Let us assume that to be 8 km per hour. The question says if her average speed is 12 km per hour, which means going forward and coming back for the entire journey, the average speed is 12 km per hour. What is the value of x? Now, this can be done directly with a formula, but, but just to give you the concept behind it, if the distance between A and B is fixed as D, let me say in one direction you have an average speed of A, kilometers per hour, and the turn direction you have an average speed of, let's say, B kilometers per hour, then the overall average speed for the entire journey will be 2AB upon A plus B. This is the average speed for the overall journey. So in this particular question, we can say the onward journey is 6 km per hour. The return journey is at x km per hour. So it becomes 2 into 6 into x upon 6 plus x. This should be equal to 12. Which means uh, 12x upon 6 plus x is equal to, so we can take 6 plus x on the other side. Or 12x is equal to 72 plus 12x which implies uh, 12x will get cancelled on both sides or you will get 0 is equal to 72 this situation is not possible hence there is inconsistency in the data such an average speed of 12 km per hour is not possible if the onward speed is 6 km per hour okay. so now, now, some of you may have an issue with the formula as to how does it get derived. If the distance is d in this particular question, let's say you need to look at this is the distance is the same on both sides. Now, average speed is nothing but total distance upon total time. Since the average speed is equal to total distance upon total time, let us do it for this particular situation. Total distance in this case is d kilometers going and d kilometers coming back. So the total distance is 2d. And the time taken should be for the onward journey. We know, okay, we know that speed is equal to distance upon time or time is equal to distance upon speed. So for the onward journey, time taken would be d upon a and the return journey will be d upon b. Now this is what will translate into this particular formula. You can solve this further and you can check it out. So the average speed would be equal to this because it is total distance upon total time. Okay. Obviously, we will notice that D get cancelled out. Which also means if you are doing a journey not in this case you are going forward and coming back. Supposing the question was you go from point A to B to C. Speed from point A to B is x kilometers per hour. B to C is y kilometers per hour. And B is the midpoint of AC. Then the average speed again would be the same. So effectively if you are covering same distance at two different speeds. Then you can apply this particular formula.